So hello there, <clears throat> my name is Emma and today I will be doing day 17 on this yoga journey oh, that I have uh, been following on YouTube <clears throat> and I recommend you not to follow me because I ain't no professional therefore I don't think it's a good idea if you follow me she is using a blanket so <coughs> Yeah, uh, I feel like I have done that sound a lot in the uh, last couple of videos, haven't I? Like, <coughs> but yeah, as I've said, I was I had a cold a few weeks ago, or I got a cold a few weeks ago, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I am still suffering with some. Uh, I don't know, like. That, uh, like, I don't know, clumpy spit, you feel me? <clears throat> so yeah, that's what's going on. But yeah, this yoga was supposed to be happiness boost. And <laughs> I feel like that is just something that they say, but okay, okay, well, uh, <clears throat> the woman that I am following right now, she talks. The whole time she's doing the yoga like she's talking you through the yoga she's not talking about her everyday life i don't think uh she's talking how you should think during the yoga and when to take a deep breath and exhale and now we are focusing on this area and this area is good for that and you feel me so she <laughs> she's way better to follow than me uh so I was about to say that happiness boost, that could be just something she puts in the title and just that may motivate some people who are feeling low like, yeah, hmm, this doing this yoga is maybe going to make me feel like get me a boost of happiness. But the yoga <laughs> doesn't really have anything to do with happiness, you feel me? But then when I think about it, she may be talking about like positive, like more positive stuff, okay, that may leave the viewers uh, or like may get the viewers a happiness boost also, okay. It may not just be the movement that, sh that I am following right now, it may be her instructions also that gives the happiness boost, I guess, so yeah. But I'm not really following her instructions. Um, because I don't have the sound on my TV, I bet that it would be much more nice to listen to her. I do have the subtitles on though, but I don't really read them. I kind of more focus on what she's doing. Um, now and then I see something she says, but I, I don't focus on that. Um. But I definitely think you should, okay, if you follow her video, okay? But yeah, this is just my journey, okay? Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a weird feeling in my back. <laughs> it feels almost as I'm getting like a cramp or I'm gonna strain something or whatever it's called. Do you know what I'm feeling? I feel like I need to poop. Nope! <laughs> Well, I could have gotten that feeling, really. <laughs> but just the way I said it, I don't know, in my head it felt like I said, uh, I'm gonna like do that now, you feel me? But no. But yeah, of course you can do yoga and you can have a feeling of needing to do number two, okay? <clears throat> but I don't feel like I need to do that now. Yeah, I am a person who likes to do number two at least once a day, okay? If I don't do that one day, I feel like something is wrong, okay? But yeah, I do that uh, between one to three times a day. Today, I think I have done it two or three times, I can't remember. But I don't think I will do it again today. But who knows, maybe the yoga is gonna uh, like, I don't know, work my stomach or something. I did have a big, um, 
I did have a big, what do you say, dinner. Okay, I wasn't meant to have such a big dinner, but I did not measure and I made too much. In Swedish it's called couscous. I don't know if it's called that in English. <clears throat> but I made too much, is what I'm saying. And therefore, that could maybe be a reason that I may actually need to do number two again tonight. Because, yeah, it's actually tonight. Huh? <laughs> Where it's like evening when I'm recording this. But maybe when this is coming up this morning. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I felt some. <coughs> Cracks, okay. Oh, but yeah, <clears throat> I am in the mood for a happiness boost, okay. And like, I, ha I feel like I have been like mm. overall, I feel like I have been more pleased or whatever so the last couple of weeks like I haven't felt super sad or and I haven't but I haven't felt like super duper happy either oh my god oh. but yeah <clears throat> I like I have been crying a little bit but it has like <laughs> I don't think it has been for anything super serious I don't know okay just thoughts in my head I don't know what I'm talking about, but tonight actually, like two hours ago or something, I did watch a show called Normal People. I talked about this in a yoga, a few yogas ago, that I have started to watch a uh, <coughs> show on HBO uh, called Normal People. Uh, someone online recommended that show to me without really giving me any information about it but I said that I was open to watch it and uh, yeah he, he really seemed to recommend it okay um, so yeah I started watching it a few days ago um, but at first like I <laughs> like either like if I am alone for a day I like to spend like the uh, last uh, hour or so and watch like a movie or TV shows before I go to bed but if I don't have that alone time I only have like <laughs> I can only watch TV shows when I'm alone okay and sometimes I'm only alone uh, a few hours a day and then I don't even may not even have the time to do so because it's like either should I work on my computer and eat my lunch or should I watch a TV show Mostly, it, the whole situation gets drawn to that I should uh, go ahead and bring my computer and do some work instead, okay? Since I don't have time to work on my computer either uh, when I'm not alone. But yeah, so a few days ago I saw half... A, but yeah, when I do feel like I can spend the time to watch a TV show or something, I usually only watch half an episode. So I watched half an episode a couple of days ago and updated you about it that I have been starting to watch this new show but so far I don't feel like it's special except that uh, they are uh, that the show is based in Ireland and I uh, love the Irish accent um, but other than that like teenagers in what seems to be high school in a way I feel like I'm too old for that but then the actors in that TV show uh, are like almost the same age as my uh, as I am so I, I don't know but the person who recommended it to me seemed to think that it was a really good show so I felt like I'm gonna give it a shot anyways even though I'm not sure about it and I just watched half the first episode uh, and I wasn't really like I wasn't really feeling any like sparks but damn it I was wrong and those episodes are short they are like uh, 25 to like 30 minutes long only uh, but yeah when I watched the uh, second half of that 
first episode. <laughs> it just became so good and then since that the show has been so good I can say that that show has been a roller coaster of uh, emotions. Uh, no, I have really felt every emotion happy, sad, angry, uh, like turned on. No, everything really. And ever since the second half of that first episode, well, I'm actually only on episode four, so I've only watched episode one, two, three. But I'm telling you. Second half of episode one, and then say episode two, and then episode three. They are all so good. <laughs> they are all so good. I just love them. But for example, with the third episode, I watched that a few hours ago tonight. And I think it was the second half of the episode. <clears throat> um, and uh, I could not stop crying. I just felt it in the air that something, like things were gonna turn into another way, okay? And I guess like a part of the situation that is going on in the show, I can maybe, I recognize myself in that situation a tiny bit or whatever. I think many people do. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, wait, I need to focus here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I need to find my concentration. No, but I cried so much during the third episode now. Uh, like, I cried so much that I felt like I need to go to the toilet and bring... <laughs> I took toilet paper and I just sat there sobbing and dabbing my eyes with the toilet paper. Like, I haven't felt that much emotions <laughs> for a TV show in a while. Like, yeah. Um, the latest episode of The Last of Us, um, that was very emotional also, but it was more like um, towards the end of the story where I started crying a bunch. And of course I felt like emotions through the whole episode, like happy emotions, you feel me? It was a beautiful episode, but this show, like, I could not... <laughs> Stop crying, like I just saw what was happening and I just felt sad. Uh, yeah, and I couldn't stop watching. Normally, as I said, I only watch half an episode because I want to sit with my phone for a while also before I move on with my day. But with the third episode, I could not stop watching. Like, when I was supposed to end the episode, that was when I felt like <sighs> I'm gonna cry more or like there's too much emotion in this. I can't stop watching now. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this that pro this person is probably not seeing this who recommended that show, but I just want to say thank you, even though I've only seen three episodes. Okay, maybe something is gonna come up that makes me not like it, but I I doubt that because that show has. Um, like a really good uh, score on that website, you feel me, that you can score TV shows on. I do not think though that you should like get too blind or too focused on just checking scores all the time when you are going to watch a TV show, okay? TV show can be good and have a low score also, I think.
But yeah, I'm definitely excited to uh, watch more episodes of normal people. But I don't know when I'll watch the next episode, okay? I was thinking about watching another episode tonight, but um, yeah, as I've said, I have got on a dating app again and I sat with my dating app a little bit too long before I started recording this video. So now I feel like it's too late to uh, watch an episode. So after this yoga, I'm just gonna sit down with my computer and work for like half an hour. And then I'm gonna go and get ready for bed. No, but it's nice to cry, okay? I think that is a show that I would have loved to watch when I was in high school, okay? Like, but I must say that I'm so really surprised of all the feelings that I, um, like some feelings that I have felt in that show, I have not felt for a show in a long time. No, it was weird, okay? <laughs> um, No, but when I was in high school and school overall, I never found any love, okay? I never had a boyfriend. I did not have my first kiss until I finished, like, high school, okay? The first guy that I was with, do you know who that was or how I found him? I found him on a random dating app. And we just met up, okay? I barely knew him. I just wanted to get down with it, okay? Uh, which I guess that I regret a little bit today. But let me tell you this, I had so low confidence, okay? I had the confidence that no one thought that I was attractive because, again, during uh, my school time, I never had a boyfriend and, like, I remember talking to a classmate and she was like, Emma, I think you and I are the only people who has never been intimate with someone. Uh, you feel me? And people thought that I was a lesbian also in high school. I remember one time I was sitting down eating with a couple of classmates and all of a sudden out of nowhere, as if they had been talking about it, they asked me, Emma, are you gay? Um, and they were all like, <laughs> Like the person who asked it, and then the people who sat around, like looked at me and like nodded, like yeah, Emma, because you don't have. Like the thing is, I had a bunch of crushes in high school, which I told them about. Like I had one time where it was a boy that I was really in love with. Like we did not know each other. Like I was a person who could fall in love with someone who I thought was cute, but I, that I have never had interacted with in school. And I would tell my classmates about that, and there were one time, there was a guy, and I went to like a, a restaurant school or whatever, and, and there was one time we were gonna work in the kitchen, me and a couple of other classmates, and apparently he was also there because he was doing some project, like. He was in the same year as me, but not in the same class. And do you know what I did? I just went home. I just went home because I started shaking like a leaf. I started sweating. I just felt like I can't be here today. So yeah. So basically I got so nervous seeing him there that I, I just went home. I skipped class. But yeah, anyways, and I always got like that around guys in high school. And yeah, I told my classmates about guys that I thought were cute, but they still thought that I <laughs> that I was gay because I talked about guys so much, but I never ended up like meeting anyone. So they thought that me talking about being in love with a bunch of guys at school, they thought that that was a cover up for me being gay. <laughs> that I was lying about uh, liking all of these boys because I was afraid to tell them that I like girls <laughs> but yeah I just told them that I'm not okay uh, 
But yeah, no, I never met any guys at high school because, as I said, I had the worst confidence back then. But yeah, it's also a thing like how I grew up. I never got to invite any friends back to my house. So that was the thing that made it harder for me to also make friends because I knew that I was not gonna uh, get to invite them to me. Therefore, I felt like it's better to like not get to know anyone too much because then they are gonna start asking, oh, shall we go home to me or can we go home to you today? And I just knew that I'm not gonna be allowed to bring anyone home. So I might as well not become friends with anyone too much, okay? Uh, so the same uh, case with the guys, okay? Since I wasn't allowed to bring any friends home, of course I wasn't allowed to bring any boys home either, okay? So yeah, after finishing school, I just got on a dating app and met a random guy and just got done with it, okay? It wasn't like we didn't even talk about it happening. It just, he, he thought, apparently, like, I don't know, okay? He was so on me, so I felt like, okay, fine, let's do it, okay? I thought that it might happen, but he thought that it definitely was gonna happen, okay? Yeah, if you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but today I know my worth more and uh, if I would have had the confidence that I have today, <clears throat> I wouldn't have just met some random guy to just get it over with, okay? But yeah, so we can kind of, uh, it can kind of make me sad to see a show where people are all in love in high school or whatever. Because that was what I dreamed of, dreamt of when I was in high school. I'm so sweaty right now, okay? <laughs> Talking about this, I don't know, okay? Yeah, what am I wearing today? I don't think I mentioned that. The shorts are from She, and I think that they like they are a little bit too tight in the waist, but I don't think it's super uncomfortable. But they are a little bit too small, though. I feel like they are riding up in a way. I don't want them to ride off. I feel like they are a little bit too small to wear outside. Um. And then the t-shirt I'm wearing is from a store called Lindex. And as we can see, there's Rick and Morty on the t-shirt. Woohoo. Like my, this leg is already burning from <laughs> balancing my body, okay? I don't think I can do this, okay? Yeah, Rick and Morty, great show, okay? I could definitely see myself watching all the seasons again. But I think I'm 
maybe I'll actually wait with rewatching the show because <clears throat> they are not finished with uh, like they are still in uh, production I guess okay a few more I think a few more seasons are gonna come out I did hear recently that the voice for Rick and Morty has gone on fire though I don't know I like I'm not super much into the Rick and Morty universe now okay I just I just watched the season, all the seasons that have come out, like a year ago or something. <coughs> and uh, I enjoyed the show, okay? But yeah, no, I think I'm gonna wait until all the seasons are out. And uh, then I'm maybe gonna watch all the seasons, okay? Maybe I'm not gonna do that. I don't know. Uh, random <laughs> so <clears throat> I have been uh, a little bit more active on my dating app today uh, I still haven't found the one or I still don't feel like uh, I have gotten like a connection with someone so I feel like it's gonna end up that it may end up to something in real life I feel like I'm just randomly writing and talking to people yes I'm sending voice messages <laughs> to people uh, uh, I think I have sent voice messages to three people so far and two of those people immediately told me after uh, me sending the voice message they told me that uh, what a nice accent you have and what a nice voice you have yeah yeah bro <laughs> I know that I have uh, people like my voice and accent even in Swedish they like my accent okay uh, um, so yeah, like <laughs> I almost know that for sure that people are gonna like it, okay? So yeah, that is something, I don't know, I feel, I don't know, I feel kind of cool, you know? Like, I, I don't feel embarrassed sending them a, a, a voice message instead of writing to them, because yeah, I know that they will be even more charmed by me. But bo both those people who liked the way I talked, uh, I uh, ended up uh, not uh, going anywhere with them. Uh, uh, one guy, I did not feel like he had the same energy as me. And I told him good luck. And I told him the reason and he accepted that. He like sent me like a laughing smiley and he was like, alright, you are, you seem like a chill girl. Like, good luck on uh, like dating, I guess. Okay. And it was the same situation with the other guy. He, I told him that I was looking for something serious. He told me he was looking for like friends with benefits and see where things go, you know. But you know, I've been in that situation. It never goes to any more than friends with benefits or even like not so like most people I have managed to meet just ends with benefits not even friends okay well the last guy I met I guess was a little bit more towards friends actually and I almost felt like it was potential for something something more but he never felt that that way uh, but yeah anyways uh, yeah so I told him that uh, but he, I told him that no I'm not gonna meet like I'm not interested I've already been there it's not gonna lead to anything serious I do not wanna meet just casually or whatever and he told me that hey maybe I can like uh, go on a date with you the way you wanna do it <laughs> 
But I just told him like, no, you know what, you are not gonna be able to do that. I know what you want, uh, like deep inside. Wait, am I doing this wrong? Okay, like, I know what you want deep inside, okay? It's not what I'm, I want, okay? Good luck on here. And he just left like a blinking smiley. He was like, yeah, you're probably right. Good luck to you too, okay? You need to be chill about it, but yeah. Some guys are really dry when it comes to that, when you tell them like, I don't feel like this is working out, I wish you good luck on here. Some guys get like butt hurt, I guess, and they decide not to answer. <laughs> or even worse, some guys have started like insulting me last minute. <laughs> Be like, oh, I wasn't even, even like that interested in you interested in you and then I remember I was talking to a guy who was a few years younger than me uh, I don't remember if he was 20 or 21 or 22 maybe even 23 but yeah he ended when I told him that like I'm not interested okay um yeah first of all he he told me uh, so we had been talking for a while and I did not feel like any uh, like butterflies in my stomach I just felt like he was okay to talk to but then all of a sudden he was like so uh, you're looking for like lamb meat right like young meat and I was like what the f you're a few years younger than me what are you talking about no I'm definitely not interested in that okay I don't want to talk to you anymore and then he told me like uh, you're old anyways <laughs> like bro shut the f up okay But yeah, my age limits uh, right now are, uh, I am 27, by the way, my age, I have my age uh, in between 23 and uh, uh, 37, okay. So five years younger than me, well, I'm turning 28 this year. So. Uh, Five years younger than me, and ten years older than me. Yeah. Yeah, some of you may be like critical to me being, I know that a lot of you who are watching my video are not in my age group. Uh, many of you are apparently much older than me and uh, are watching my videos. And I've heard it before that, I think I updated on Instagram or something, and then I remember someone writing to me that that uh, like dating online is not good, you should meet someone in real life and stuff like that. But the thing is, I'm not a person who's social, I never get out really. I like only go out to <laughs> take out the trash and uh, like go to the grocery store or whatever, okay? I'm not the social person who goes to like events and you feel me, I'm not out there. I don't go to cafes and stuff like that, okay? restaurants I'm not out there meeting people I'm at home how am I supposed to meet someone when I'm at home all the time but then also <clears throat> uh, I have read like how do most people today meet their partner and I feel like it's so like you hear that oh online you can't find someone it's just people just wanting something not serious but then when you I have read that how do people meet their partner nowadays? It's online. The majority of the people who are in a relationship together, they meet each other online. That is the, like back in the day, obviously it was not that, but that is the real situation today. Most people meet each other online. So I have started to think that it's stupid that I'm gonna not 
decided to, I'm not gonna be on any dating apps, never, okay? I wanna meet someone in real life. I've had a period like that, but now I have, like, after reading some articles about it, like, no. If I wanna meet someone, I should be on a dating app, once in a while at least, okay? I don't feel like being on a dating app all the time. But once in a while, I should get out there, okay? That is my best shot, uh, me being like an introvert uh, who likes to stay at home all the time, okay? My biggest chance of finding a person like me is to find that person online, okay? Uh, yeah, that was the yoga. How was that? I don't know. I talked so freaking much. Did I feel any like happiness boost? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think I followed along the yoga pretty well. I don't remember shit though. Okay. We did do a like complicated position where we like stood up and ho held up one leg. That I think was fun even though I may not have done it 100% correct. But uh, yeah, the, it's always nice with fun stuff. And, I'm, uh, and I've said it before, I think that this yoga journey is pretty calm compared to the yoga journey that I did last year, for example. Um, but yeah, that was it. Thank you for watching. This video, I hope you enjoyed it. In that case, leave the thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My name's the same there, Ms. Mas. And subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out when I put in new videos. I hope you all are having a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.